Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 13. The title of our topic is about teaching PE and health. By the way, my name is Giselle P. Inardesito and I am the first reporter. Before we proceed to our discussion proper, let me introduce to you the learning outcomes for this topic. After this topic, we'll be able to, number one, state the legal basis of the teaching of physical education and health. And number two, discuss the intended outcomes, the scope, guiding principles, approaches, and methods for the teaching of physical education and health. And number three, examine the alignment of goals, the standards, and content in the teaching of physical education and health. Health. Now, the physical education and health belongs to four separate subjects considered as one, that is MAPE. Each has a separate curriculum guide with distinct goals but similar standards and content. Okay, so MAPE stands for Music, Arts, PE, and Health. Now, let us proceed to the legal basis of teaching PE and health. It is declared policy of the state to give priority to education, science, technology, arts, and culture to foster patriotism and nationalism, accelerate social progress, and promote total human liberation and development. That's found in Article 2, Section 17. Article 14 on education, science, technology, arts, culture, in sports of Philippine Constitution, supports the teaching of physical education and health in the curriculum to wit. Number one, the state recognizes the vital role of the youth in nation building and shall promote and protect their physical, moral, spiritual, intellectual, and social well-being. That is found in section 13 of article 14. The state shall protect and promote the right to health of the people and instill health consciousness among them. That's found in section 15 of the article 14. The state shall protect and advance the right of the people to a balanced and healthful ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature. That's found in section 16 of the article 14. The state shall give priority to education, science and technology, arts, culture and sports to foster patriotism and nationalism, accelerate social progress and promote total human liberation and development. That is found in section 17 of article 40. Of course, the total human liberation can be achieved only if the people of the nation is healthy. Therefore, we can conclude that teaching PE and health is very important. So that is the end of my report. The reference is flashed on the screen and please stand by for the next reporter. Thank you so much for listening.